thank you for coming. It's Dr. Seuss's birthday. I know we have a lot of really fun events all day, which is awesome. We are so lucky we have Robin Nash here. She's on the radio on 103.9. If you ever listen to that station or your parents ever listen. <laughs> Some of you listen. Fantastic. And you're on 3 to 7 now, is that right? 3 to 7. 3 to 7 on 103.9. So when you're going home today, you can tell your mom and dad, tune in. This lady came and read to us a Dr. Seuss book. So it is pretty exciting that she's here. So I want our best listening ears, okay? Same expectations apply as in your classroom because we really want to be a good audience and good listening. Um, and we will do some questions at the end, but we need to hold them till the end, okay? No, not right now. So we're going to hold all our questions till the end, and if we have time, we'll ask some. So let's give her a hand for coming in today. Dr. Seuss today. Oh, my name is Dr. Seuss. If he was alive. If he was alive. Right. Okay, congratulations. Today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself and direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know. And you are the guy who will decide where to go. Oh, sorry. Did you want to see him on every page? Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank page you. one. <laughs> you look up and down streets, look them over with care. About some you will say, I don't choose to go there. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you're too smart to go down and not so good street. And you may find not any. You'll want to go down. In that case, of course, you'll head straight out of town. It's coming out of it. <laughs> it's opener there in the wide open air. This is a quick one. It's going through a maze. Whoa. Whoa. Out. Oh, this is Out there things can happen and frequently do to people as brainy and footsy as you. And when things start to happen and don't worry, don't stew, just go right along. You'll start happening too. Places you will go. You'll be on your way up. You'll be seeing great sights. You'll join the high flyers who soar to high heights. You won't lag behind because you'll have the speed. You'll pass the whole gang, and you'll soon take the lead. Wherever you fly, you'll be best of the best. Wherever you go, you will top all the rest. Except when you don't, because sometimes you won't. I'm sorry to say so, but sadly it's true. At bang-ups and hang-ups, can happen to you. You can get all hung up in a prickly perch, and your gang will fly on. You'll be left in a lurch. Oh. 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 He got caught by He got caught on a tree. You'll come down from the lurch with an unpleasant bump, and the chances are then that you'll be in a slump. And when you're in a slump, you're not in for much fun. Unslumping yourself is not easily done. <coughs> you will come to a place where the streets are not marked. 
Some windows are lighted, but mostly they're dark. A place you could sprain both your elbow and chin. Do you dare, do you dare to stay out? Do you dare go in? How much can you lose? How much can you win? And if you go in, should you turn left or right? Or right in three quarters? Or maybe not quite? Or go around back and sneak in from behind? Simply it's not, I'm afraid you will find. For a mind maker upper to make up his mind. Which way would you go? You can get so confused that you'll start into race down long, down long with old roads at a breaknecking pace and grind on for miles across weirdish wild space, headed, I fear, toward a most unuseful place, the waiting place. This one? For people just waiting, waiting for a train to go, or a bus to come, or a plane to go, or the mail to come, or the rain to go, or the phone to ring, or the snow to snow, or waiting around for a yes or no, or waiting for their hair to grow. Everyone is just waiting. Waiting for the fish to bite, or waiting for wind to fly a kite, or waiting around for Friday night, or waiting perhaps for their Uncle Jake, or a pot to boil, or a bed of break, or a string of pearls, or a pair of pants, or a wig with curls, or another chance. Everyone is just they're doing a lot. They're waiting. <laughs> no, that's not for you. Somehow you'll escape all that waiting and staying. You'll find the bright places where boom bands are playing. With banner flip flapping, once more you'll ride high, ready for anything under the sky. Ready? Because you're that kind of guy. you'll go, there is fun to be done, there are points to be scored, there are games to be won, and the magical things you can do with that ball will make you the winning, winningest of them all. Fame, you'll be famous as famous can be, with the whole wide world watching, you win on TV. Except when they don't, because sometimes they won't. I'm afraid that sometimes you'll play lonely games too. Games you can't win, because you'll play against you. All messed up. All alone, whether you like it or not, alone will be something you'll be quite a lot. And when you're alone, there's a very good chance you'll meet things that scare you right out of your pants. <laughs> there are some down the road between Hitcher and Young that can scare you so much you won't want to go on. This is my favorite picture. This is my favorite picture. But on you will go, though the weather be foul. On you will go. Though your enemies prowl, on you will go. Though the hawk and cracks howl, onward up many a frightening creek. Though your arms make it sore and your sneakers may leak. <laughs> Up to your problems, whatever they are. 
questions, not giant long stories or inappropriate questions. And you guys certainly know the difference, okay? So if you have a good appropriate question, go ahead and raise your hand. And when it's your turn, ask it in a nice loud voice, please. I'm from New York. Probably this one. I read it when I was a kid all the time. So I absolutely love it. Do you have any pets? I do. I have two cats. I've had them since they were babies. Right when they were born, I've had them, and I love them. Do you have any pets? What do you have? I have a dog and a hamster. A dog and a hamster? A dog guinea pig. Oh, and a guinea pig, too. I am from Oceanside, Long Island. Do you know it? I don't know. Yellow. I the one where all the musical. Hold on, I'm gonna look. All right, guys. While she's looking, remember, I want to remind you, she's on the radio. So if you want to ask any questions about that, that's probably something you wouldn't hear every day, guys. She's on a music station. It's my favorite picture because it has all the musical pictures. Um. Oh, Straight. Up to you. <laughs> My name is Robin. And, um, pink. And the girl in the pink in the back. Um, do you like being on your radio station? I do. What do you do? I'm a DJ. I'm actually on the radio. So you can hear me talking if you turn on 103.9. Later in the car with your parents, you'll hear me talking on the radio. Red. We call you all by colors. <laughs> Did you forget your question? What's that? You live in New York? No, I moved to Arizona. I went to Arizona State University, the college, and I've been here ever since. Yes, jacket, Lou. How did you get? No, no, I live in Arizona now. So I lived in Scottsdale. I know, like, I drove how did right you here myself. Here? Like, how did you get to the I drove. Yep. Yeah. Uh, oh. The girl in the Hollister. Okay. What? Some people notice my voice right away. 
when I start talking, even if I just go to the grocery store and start talking to at the checkout counter, they, they're like, oh, you're Robin, you're on the radio. And other people say that, that I don't sound the same on the radio. That's because when you talk into the microphone, there it goes through all these different voice processors. So where I start in the studio, and between that and broadcasting out onto the radio, it's going through all these different uh, engineering let's say tweaks that the engineer did for us to speak. So it could sound a little bit either higher or lower. So you're hearing a little bit of, of a difference. So that, that's good that you asked that. Yep. Where do you go? What is the Where do I go? To Oh, I'm in a studio. We should do a, a field trip. A field we trip should. It would be so fun. So I'll show you guys. That would be fun for you to see the radio station. <laughs> no, that's a great question too. I've always worked on the radio on 103.9. Before I got on the radio, I worked for Camel Country, but I was in promotion, so I did behind the scenes stuff. Actually, what Matt's doing back there, wave to the camera. <laughs> I used to do what he was doing, then I moved into radio. Um, actually, I have a comment. I think you were on another station. On the air? Yeah. Wasn't it 106.3 oh. and 100.3? Yeah. But it was the same yeah. station. Yeah, yeah. Well, she's not being Yeah, but, well, and that was before any of them were born. But Karen, still, yeah. you were on a different station. <laughs> yes. It's called My 1039. Oh, that's it? That's it. <laughs> oh, wow. Yes. Yeah. I'm by myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like the morning show has five people on their show. I'm by myself. I'm not, that would be called a syndication, and I'm not syndication, so the only people that can hear me are people who live in Arizona. So it's only broadcasted here in the state. Yeah. I get asked that question all the time. She wants to know what my favorite song is. Oh my goodness. You know, what's your favorite song? <laughs> it's hard to answer that question. It depends on my mood. I like everything. I like all music, so it's a very hard question to ask. I'll be back for you. Yes. Did you have a period? That was the question? Okay, so if you have them, make them really good ones. We only have time for a few more. My favorite animal. You know, it's funny. I have two cats, but a dog would be my favorite animal. I volunteer for a puppy organization that raises dogs to become service dogs in Arizona, and I just love being around dogs. Same thing with Spencer. What's your favorite animal? Dog. Okay, and the guy next to you. It's a part two, it's a two-part question. <laughs> okay, what is it? That would be my question, but you sound like my aunt. I sound like your aunt. Yeah. Um, she must be cool. <laughs> What's that? Favorite band. Favorite band. Oh, that's almost the same thing as her question. What's your favorite song? Uh, okay, well, alternative-wise, I love the band Muse. Have you ever heard of Muse? Yeah. Some people have heard of Muse? Yeah. I, would, I would go with Muse right now. That's, so my favorite song would come from Muse. You already got one. Your favorite food? Pasta. Italian food. Pasta, pizza, anything Italian. It's my favorite. All right, guys, three more questions, okay? We're going to do three more questions. Make them really good.
I wanted to know what my favorite animal is. Let's say a cheetah. Brown. Yeah, you. Go ahead. My favorite I do love the black eyed peas actually. They are fantastic. Alright, next to you, the guy in the red. Um, the guy. The man. The man in the red. Go ahead. Where were you born? What's that? I was born back in the 70s, and that's all you get. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, last question, okay? L make it a really good one. Okay, so hands down, and let's let's listen to this one last really good question. Well, I'm on every day for 15 years, so a lot. Monday through Friday, I work five days a week, and I'm on every day, so I'm do the <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll leave with that great math problem. All right, guys, let's give her another hand for this wonderful.